so, so this is this is so this is uh, okay so we we've decided uh, that is uh, on the 9th uh, they will first visit indian agricultural research institute because it's uh, again credit goes to the prime minister he didn't want it to be uh, just a hoity toity kind of experience in addition to this he wanted it to be a very substantial experience and for that substantial experience the morning hours are going to be spent in indian agricultural research institute where they will meet some women farmers they will also see some of the uh, top of the line uh, labs so you, everybody knows about isro that is the space science uh, uh, of india how good we are but less people know about our agricultural potential uh, we were a nation which was uh, deficient in food production from uh, uh, f low on food production to uh, today surplus uh, in food production is where india has reached in terms of dairy farming to everything you we've showcased that we are number one when it comes to dairy farming so people need to know that aspect of science also so how good our labs are how our scientists uh, from the biological front have been working so first experience will be about the millets which is our traditional diet uh, indians have been eating millets for a few thousand years the grains which you find in harappan civilization are actually millets and from there the journey came and uh, wheat that we started eating in this larger quantity is a very recent phenomena it's only 40 50 years old so moving away showcasing heritage to the scientific part is what the first half is going to be second half uh, is going to be about uh, uh, an exhibition which is called roots to roots uh, the oldest chariot in the world that is 2000 bc before the birth of christ which makes it at least 5000 plus years old uh, is what we have showcased and which is uh, what uh, we archive from which, which we excavated from uh, sinoli uh, we have a book uh, a french book uh, actually a collection of lithographs uh, which is about our um, ancient musical instruments and you'll be happy to know that this book on ancient musical instruments uh, this particular lithographs a collection of lithographs becomes relevant because uh, when the president murmu is hosting the dinner uh, for all the heads of states we are also having a performance uh, which is a three hour long performance uh, from all our ancient uh, uh, musical instruments ravan hatta to rudra veena to um, uh, tabla to piano everything's going to be played uh and uh, the traditional indian music system itself i mean no country in the world can claim two classical schools of music which india has so we have karnataki we have hindustani so several uh, instruments coming from hindustani cl uh, uh, classical music to uh, the karnataki music we have especially uh, uh, able uh, artists also performing women artists male artists so you will see an ensemble of a sort uh, which is spectacular so uh, my my sense would be that if you get an opportunity to speak about your country to showcase all that is there uh, these are uh, uh, you know very very proud moment because uh, uh, i mean personally for myself if i were to speak but i'm speaking on behalf of all indians but personally i would say i'm a very proud indian i've spent my lifetime here hopefully will die here and uh, i think one lifetime is not enough to know my country so within a short span we have to showcase our country so that's a tough call but we have tried our best thank you so